Hey guys, Caveman Drew here. What we're going to do here today is we are going to take uh, several approaches towards measuring body fat percentage using simple tools uh, so we can get a general baseline that we can measure against going forward. Using the skin fold caliper, there are many methods available that you can use. So the skin caliper method we're going to use is the Jackson Pollock four point method. Uh, I chose this method because it's four locations on the body that you can actually access on your own without a partner. Uh, there's no locations on the back and things like that where you can't reach on your own. So the four locations we're going to test is on your tricep, halfway on the upper back arm. Uh, it's going to be a vertical pinch here. We're going to do the thigh, and this is going to be halfway between uh, the hip and the kneecap, also a vertical pinch, halfway. We're going to do the supraleate, which is this, you feel the bone here, right on there. It's going to be a diagonal pinch in line with the bone. And then the umbilicus, you're going to pick a point about one inch to the right of the navel, and that's going to be a vertical pinch. These are very cheap. I uh, get them online. I bought this one for you know a few dollars. It's just a cheap piece of plastic. There are better versions out there, but this will get the job done for home use. These are very simple to use. All you really do is you take a section of skin and body fat on various locations of the body, and what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze that section of body fat just until it stops. You start this at you know all the way to the to the right side here. And as you squeeze, it'll come to a certain point where it stops, the slide moves with the caliber, and then you just take your measurement from where it stops, in this case, 11 millimeters. You want to take all measurements on the right side of your body, and always consistently take it on the right side of your body. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm not in the best shape of my life, but we're hoping to change that over the coming months. First thing we're going to do is measure the tricep. So remember to set your gauge all the way to the, the maximum size. And then we're going to pinch about halfway up the tricep. Remember to not let the, the main body of the calipers bend. Okay, so we're going to take that as our measure, and we're going to say that that is about 12 millimeters. Okay, our next measurement we're going to take is going to be our thigh, so remember to set your gauge uh, to the maximum size, halfway between the hip and the knee. Remember that's a vertical pinch. And that is 22. Okay, reset the gauge. We're going to do the supraliac. Remember that's a, uh, an angled pinch here along the line on the bone. Or if you have a dragon on the dragon's snout. That is a 14. And now the umbilicus, again, one inch to the right of the navel. It's a vertical pinch. And that's a 22. Okay, there are three other measures that we need uh, for the Jackson Pollock four-point skin fold measurement. Uh, the first is male or female, definitely male. Uh, the second is your age. So I just turned 38 less than a month ago, so 38. And the final is weight in pounds. So I got a little bathroom scale here. And it is telling me that currently I am 206 pounds, 
just wearing a pair of shorts. So we'll call it 206 for now. Okay, so we're looking at some of the online calculators here. Uh, this first one is where I've entered the information from the uh, body fat calipers. So you can see I entered my age, my weight, uh, and then in the center here, you could see that uh, I've entered my, my body fat caliper measurements. So if I just go ahead and hit calculate on this, down towards the bottom here, you can see it comes up with some figures. So we're saying body fat is 18.31%. Uh, I have 37.72 pounds of body fat, 168.28 pounds of lean body weight. Uh, so I have, I have quite a bit of fat to work with here if I want to, uh, to, to reduce my body fat. Okay, the second way we're going to approximate body fat today is by taking measurements of various parts of the body. Now this is a method uh, generally used by the United States military. Uh, I often hear, to, uh, hear it referred to as the Navy method. Um, so we're going to take some measurements and also plug that into a calculation to approximate our body fat percentage. I'm using this device here. It's called MyoTape. There are you know, plenty of brand names for this, but all it is is a simple measurement tape. And this one's nice because it allows you to you know, lock a body part in there, close the tape off, and then you'll get your actual measurement. It's a little easier than just using uh, standard you know, measuring tape uh, that you would have to roll out and kind of... Uh, try to figure out where that endpoint is. It's just a simple device. Again, these are very cheap. You can get them online. Okay, the first measurement we're going to take is my waist measurement at the navel. Okay, that's the navel. And I see that as 35 and a quarter inches. Okay, the next uh, body part we're going to measure is my waist at its narrowest point. I know I'm narrow up here, but I don't consider that my waist. I'm going to measure here, basically my belt line. Oops. And that's reading 36 and a quarter which is odd because I wear a size 34 waist. Okay, next is my hip at its widest point. So we're going to not show you everything, but my hip at its widest point is going to include the size of my sizable ass. If I just keep Wiggling it around here, I'm going to find the widest location. And we're going to say that's 41 and 3 quarters. Show's over. Okay, next we're going to measure my neck at its most narrow point. Snug that down. Probably around there. And that looks like 14 and a half. Okay, I've seen various methods where it says males don't measure their wrist circumference, only females do, but the calculator I'm using online uh, actually measures wrist circumference for all genders. So I'm gonna open up my tape, put my wrist in here. And again, when you're doing this, much like the other method we tried, always stick to one side if you're, if you're measuring a particular limb. In this case, I'm going to always use my right arm. And we see that it's giving us a measure of seven and a quarter. Okay, the final measure we're going to take is my forearm at its widest point. So I'm just going to cinch that up here. And it looks like 12 inches. Okay, the other metrics we need for this calculation would be if, whether or not you're male or female, so your gender, I'm a male, um, your height, I'm six foot, two inches tall, and your weight, today I weigh 206 pounds. 
I have another calculator here. Uh, and this one takes in uh, as inputs the various measurements I took with the tape measure. So here we have gender, weight, height, and then the various measurements that we took. <clears throat> if I calculate that, it comes up with a bunch of numbers. So it's saying using the U.S. Army algorithm, uh, it's saying 21.17%. Using U.S. Marine algorithm, it's 18.73. U.S. Navy, 17.66%. Uh, and then there's a YMCA number, which is 14.53. Um, so I'm going to throw out the YMCA one because that actually only takes three of those inputs. And I'm going to throw out the U.S. Army. So any conclusions we come to about body fat percentage are going to be approximations. But as long as we're consistent with our measurement methodology going forward into the future, we can gauge our relative success, whether or not the body fat percentage is truly accurate.